Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Mech Combat tutorial series. Within today's video we're going to be kicking things off, showing you how you can set up your project and importing the assets that we're going to be using over the next few videos, such as your environment assets, so trees, bushes, rocks and that good stuff, along with our main character which is going to be our robo dude and his hammer. If you want these asset files, they are available to download entirely free over on our website, the link for which is in the description below. Once you're on our website, all you gotta do is head over to the Paths page and then find our Mech Combat tutorial page on there. Once you're on that, all you gotta do is hit Resources Download and it will take you to Google Drive to get those assets entirely free of charge. Go ahead and download those, put them on your computer, and once you're done with that, we can move into Unreal Engine. So open up Unreal Engine. For the purpose of this series, we're going to be using Unreal Engine 4.20. You can use any other version of Unreal Engine that you fancy. If you're using something newer or older, it is going to work 100%, you will be completely fine. So if you're watching this a year down the line, don't hesitate to get started, dive in, and follow along with this series. So launch the latest version of the engine that you've got, go to new project, and we're gonna be using the third person blueprint template as our game's sort of base. What I mean by this is the third person template is just a foundation for our game. It's gonna give us the inputs, the controls, the camera, and all of that good stuff, so we don't have to manually code that ourselves. So it's gonna save us a little bit of time. We are still going to be working on top of this, replacing the character, replacing the UI, um, changing and adding gameplay functionality for things like attacking enemies and all of that good stuff. But the third person template is just a foundation for our game. Make sure that it is the blueprint version that you're using as we're going to be making this game entirely with blueprint code. Make sure your target is set to desktop and console, your quality is at maximum, and you're also using the starter content as that we're gonna be using a few bits from there. Give yourself a name for this project. In my case, I'm gonna give this a name, mech underscore combat. And then as for the directory, that is entirely up to you, save it where you like, but I'm happy with the default location. Hit create project and you are good to go. It's probably going to take a couple of minutes. So what I'm going to do is pause the video and we'll jump straight back in when we're inside of Unreal. Okay, so we're inside of Unreal Engine and we can start importing our assets and getting the engine ready to create our game. So the first thing that we need to do then is go over to our content browser in the bottom left and show our sources panel. Within here, we are going to be creating a new folder and we're going to be giving this the name Mech Combat. This folder is going to include all of our assets that we're going to be using for our game. I've made this new folder to make sure that we organize things, keep it tidy and all of that good stuff. With this Mech Combat folder, drag and drop this into your main content folder and move it here so that it is a standalone folder. What we're also going to be doing with this is right clicking the mech combat folder and setting the color of this to blue so that we can easily find this later on. So you can see here it really stands out from the rest of our assets. The reason why I've made it blue is so we can find it really quickly. It is going to be the most common folder we'll be going into so it's nice to just have that differentiation there so we're all good. Within the folder that you have downloaded you should have a meshes folder and a user interface folder. In this video, we're gonna start off by importing some of those important static meshes. Meshes are just your 3D models. So open up your meshes folder and open up your forest pack. Within here, I have provided a bunch of bushes, trees, flowers, rocks, and all of that good stuff that we're gonna be using for our level over the next few videos. So we need to import these into the engine. So what I'm going to do is within my Met Combat folder, I'm going to create a new folder and we're going to give this the name Meshes. We're going to open this up 
and we're going to create another folder with the name forest underscore environment. Open this up and from there we can start to import these files. So with these files I'm going to press Control A to select all of them and then I'm going to simply drag and drop those into our content browser to import them. With this just press import all and Unreal Engine is going to do the rest of the work and what you should have in just a moment is a complete folder full of rocks, trees, grass, flowers and all of that good stuff, the little pieces that we'll be using to make up our environment. Don't worry if it takes a couple of minutes, that's just sort of the way Unreal Engine works. There is a lot of files in here. So three, two, one, and we are good. So within here, you can see we've now got our assets. However, the issue we've got with these at the moment is there is currently a blank material on there. There is no color to our rocks, our trees, our grass, and all of that good stuff. So what we've got to do is modify the material that has been imported, that's already been assigned to these assets. So find your forest pack material, and don't worry if you haven't got one already, what you can do is just right click and create a new material of your own. But because this one's already assigned, it's going to save us a little bit of time. Open up your forest pack material, move your base node over here, and delete this null parameter, we do not need this. Within our content browser, we have got a texture for our forest pack. This is just making up all of the different colors that we're gonna be using on this environment. It's all on one texture sheet to make it nice and efficient. So select this in your content browser, make your material editor nice and big, and then what we're gonna do is hold down T and then left click, and this is going to create a texture sample. And then with this texture sample, in the details panel in the bottom left hand corner, we're going to set our texture to use the selected asset from the content browser. So press the little arrow here, and you are going to notice we've now got that texture sheet in our texture sample. And then just hook this up to your base color, and what you should have in your little preview in the top left hand corner is our material with our various colors. Hit apply and then hit save and what you will find is when you go back into your content browser all of your assets are now going to have the material on there and they're going to be colored in because that material is automatically assigned. If you created your own material what you're going to have to do is open up each one of these assets and just set your material in the details panel in the top right there. So moving on from the forest assets, let's import the assets for our main character. So within our meshes folder, create a new folder, and we're gonna give this the name main underscore character. Open this up, and then back in our folder on our computer, you want to go to main character, select all of the files, and once again, we are just dragging and dropping and then pressing import all. And what you should have is a whole bunch of assets. You should have a hammer, you should have a character, and also a material as well. So let's start off with the skeletal mesh for our main character we once again need to set up the material and you can see we've got the textures for that right here. So we've got the material and the textures. Open up your material. Once again, move your base node, get rid of the none parameter and then hold down T and left click. And then with this, hook it up to your base color. Don't worry about that error. And then for the texture, you just want to set this to your robo underscore diffuse. Hit apply and what you should have just like before in your little preview in the top left hand corner is a bunch of different colors which are going to be used on your models. So give it a couple of seconds and then from there we should be good to go. And if we go ahead and hit save, what you should notice is once it's finished saving is within our content browser 
we have now got a different color on our robot character, which is going to be our main character for the game. Just by double clicking on that, you should be able to see it. If you get nice and close, you can see he's got blue in the chest, red eyes, and all of that good stuff. What I'm also going to do is quickly hook up my emissive texture. So grab robo underscore emissive, and then hold down T to add another texture sample, and then hook this up into your emissive color, and make sure your texture is set to robo underscore emissive if it isn't already. Once again, we're just hitting apply, save, and then what we should have is a character which is going to glow a little bit and ready to be placed into our game. So that is pretty much the main asset files that we're going to be using over the next few videos. As we go along the series, we are going to be importing more and more files as there is plenty to do, such as animations which need to be used. We'll be setting those up as we get deeper on into the series. But what you should have by now is a bunch of environment assets and your main character. And we are at a point where we're ready to start making our game. And in the next video, we'll move on to some simple level design, getting our environment set up and ready for our game. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.